In this sponsored tutorial, I'm going to show you the NitroPack.io optimization service. It helps you greatly improve your Google PageSpeed scores. In this video, I turned off all optimizations on my live website, and my Google PageSpeed scores were 6 for mobile and 30 for desktop or something like that. Abysmal. And then I installed NitroPack, ran the numbers again, and my results were in the high 90s. And it took 30 seconds to install. So definitely check out this video if you're having trouble with your page speed. My name is Bjorn Alpass in WP Learning Lab. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell and make sure you comment down below, even just to say hi or ask a question or whatever. And like the video, those kind of things help this video reach more people and grow this channel. So let's get started. A few weeks ago, I published a video showing you the new Google PageSpeed Insights, which is this page right here. At the time, I got a score of about 40-ish for mobile 80-ish for desktop, and I thought there must be a way to improve this. And I found a way, which I'm going to show you in this video. Now I'm going to test my site again on Google PageSpeed Insights, but now I've turned off all optimizations on the site. So if I click on Analyze, that's, the results should be atrocious. I think they're going to be really, really bad. Four out of 100 for mobile. 31 for desktop. And this site is running on SiteGround, which is a fast server, but it's built with Elementor only Elementor. So if you're using Elementor, there's a chance that your site might be a bit slower. I have a lot of other scripts running on the site as well that are not Elementor, but just add-ons like Beamer and some other ones. And those are probably slowing down my site as well. But check this out. Go to nitropack.io, paste in your website, click test for free. So now it's pulled in the scores from Google PageSpeed Insights. And that's the column on the left here for mobile and the column on the left for desktop. And on the right is what it thinks its service can bump our scores up to in Google PageSpeed Insights. That's the column on the right for both mobile and desktop. Those are quite large improvements. And the crazy thing is it takes about 30 seconds to install and set up this plugin. And it was a free version. Set over to sign up. Fill in your information here. Sign up, I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. And when you log in, you come into your dashboard where you have your site already set up. This is what you are asked when you sign up initially. And you get a link in an email to download the actual plugin. When you have that plugin file, you need to come back to our site and go to Add New under Plugins, Upload a Plugin. Before you upload the plugin, I want you to back up your website. That's the safest thing to do. This is my live production site where I'm doing this. So I've backed up my site using Updraft Plus, which is the plugin I use for backups. I have linked to the tutorial in the description down below that'll help you use that same plugin. It's free and you can back up your site right now and then restore it if something goes wrong. Chances are nothing will go wrong. If something does go wrong, it'll be fixed by deactivating the plugin, but you just never know. It's better to be safe than sorry. So once you have a backup, click on choose file, find nitropack.zip on your hard drive, click on install now, Click on Activate Plugin, and now we have it installed. We now need to connect the plugin to our NitroPack dashboard. So you go to Settings, find the NitroPack option, click on that, and we enter our site ID and secret key, which we can find under Connect Your Website. Let's click on Copy for Site ID, paste it in there. Click on Copy for Secret Key, paste it in there. Click on Connect. The plugin is just gathering some information for our site and it's optimizing some pages. It's optimized four pages already. The site is currently set to medium for optimization level. I'm going to set mine to ludicrous, which is one of the highest levels, and it may cause issues on your site. But I have a backup, so I'm okay with that. I'm going to click on purge cache. So it rebuilds the cache on ludicrous because I already built some pages when I was on medium. So I want to rebuild on ludicrous and then I want to retest on page speed insights. So I keep this tab open, it's going to open a new tab, and I'm going to hit Analyze. And hopefully it's a whole lot faster. And now we're up to 93 on mobile, 98 on desktop. So let's compare these two, just to illustrate what, what really happened here. We went from 31 on desktop and 4 on mobile to 98 on desktop and 93 on mobile. That's pretty amazing. I gotta say, it's pretty amazing. And that was 30 seconds to get that set up with a free account. It's free. I usually use WP Rocket on my sites, and that's a great plugin, and it's not free. So this one is free. Now, is this gonna translate to faster load times? It should. That's the whole point here, right? If I visit this site, it loads pretty quick. Let's go to incognito mode. 
where I have no cache. That's a fast loading site. Now, if we test this in GT metrics, it's going to probably going to look a little bit slower is my feeling. So DT metrics shows a 1.5 second load time. And over here, we have first idle 0.5 second load time for a desktop. So it's a little bit slower when you when you measure it with GT metrics. But the big difference, the big difference when you use Nitro Pack is the time to first content full paint, which is the time it takes for someone to see something on the page. Usually the idea behind page speed is you want the page to load quickly so that people don't leave before your site has a chance to load. Now the site doesn't have to be loaded 100% as fast as possible. You have to start loading something. You have to show some kind of progress beyond a white screen and that's what the first content full paint is at 0.3 seconds. So the effective load speed when someone starts seeing something is 0.3 seconds, which is pretty darn fast. And GT Metrics shows the full load time. This is when all the resources, all the images, all the everything is loaded on the page. That takes 1.5 seconds in this case. And 0.3 is till we get the first indication something's happening. And like I said, this is a free account that I have. Like if I can find the dashboard. Here it is. This is a free account that I have here. If I go to billing, you can see plan is free. If we go to the dashboard, it shows us the free plan allows us 5,000 optimizations. Every time a page is optimized, that's an optimization. Every time we clear the cache, all the pages have to be re-optimized. So right now we have 14 optimized pages. When someone visits a certain page on the site, it's going to be optimized, added to this list. If we purge this list at some point, they'll all be re-optimized, and that's going to go towards our quota. A couple of important things you need to know about NitroPack. It is a cloud service, meaning everything, all the optimizations are done in the cloud. They're not done on your site. And so speeding up your site does not slow down your site, if that makes sense. Other optimization plugins work on your site, which inherently adds a bit of drag on your site because they're plugins and they're working on your site. NitroPack is in the cloud. What's also pretty interesting, NitroPack works on a whole bunch of different platforms, not just WordPress. NitroPack has a built-in CDN, so you don't have to pay extra for one of those. They use Amazon CloudFront, which is one of the best CDNs on the planet. Amazon basically made the cloud commercially viable, and so they know what they're doing. NitroPack also doesn't add any files on your site. To get our Google PageSpeed Insights to work better, things have to be changed on the site. What NitroPack does is it takes a copy of the files and then edits the copies. It does not edit the originals. And so there's little risk of something going wrong, but as I mentioned earlier, backups are always important because you just never know. NitroPack updates in the background, so you have to worry about updating it constantly. And if you're kind of a techno nerd, NitroPack also does critical CSS extraction, automatic image lazy loading, preloading critical resources off the main thread so it doesn't block rendering. It optimizes resources linked to CSS. It optimizes font rendering. And all this is done automatically, like we saw, like all this stuff is, all the stuff I listed is happening, but all we did was install it, add our API key or our site ID and the secret key, and that was it. And it's functioning and optimized and our site is a lot faster because of it. And here we can see our Google PageSpeed information. We can even see what the change is. Time to first byte is down 1.5 seconds, which is pretty awesome. And the time to first byte is the time it takes the server to respond to the first request from the browser. So if you're having trouble nailing your page speed, I encourage you to check out nitropack.io. You can use a free account. When you run above your quota, you can get a paid account. Let's see, let's go to upgrade, see what the paid accounts look like. It's important to note that NitroPack is a fairly new service. And so they're still trying to figure out the best pricing model for their system and for their customers. So the prices that you see right here may not be the prices that you're going to see when you go to this page whenever you're watching this video. But from what I understand, there's going to be a free account always, and the prices may vary, and the number of page optimizations per price point may vary. But suffice it to say, you're going to have the free option to get your foot in the door. If you need more, you're going to be able to upgrade to a paid plan that suits your needs. If at some point you do have to invest in the paid plan, I've negotiated a discount for you. The coupon code is down below in the description. It is WPSPEED10, and it will give you 10% off of any plan recurring. That'll make your decision to upgrade a little bit easier if you have to do that. And they make your site faster. And it's really easy to set up. That was 30 seconds. That was the easiest setup I've ever done for any page speed optimization ever. So I definitely encourage you to check out the free account to see if it'll help. But make sure you back up your site first, just in case. Better safe than sorry.
That's how the NitroPack.io service works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And also comment down below this video and like the video. It only takes a second, but it helps this video grow and reach more people and help more people. And now, check out this video up here where I show you how to use WP Rocket to speed up your site, which is another great speeding up plugin. And down below is the video that YouTube thinks you should watch. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.